Hi babes, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, what's up? I'm Ashley. Today, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be testing out a bunch of different coffees so I can try to find the best coffee. Okay, so I just don't think that I explained this well at all, but basically I drink a lot of iced coffee and when I say a lot of iced coffee, I mean a lot of iced coffee. And my usual go-tos are like Dutch Bros, Starbucks, and Phil's. But I was like, I need to branch out in my life. So I decided that I was going to go to a bunch of different coffee places and try all their iced vanilla lattes and figure out which one that I thought had the best iced vanilla latte. And basically that's exactly what this video is. I'm just going to go to all these coffee places. I love iced coffee. Let's get it. Let's get it started. I'm gonna try to keep it simple and do like an ice vanilla latte everywhere I go. But here's the thing. I'm gonna tell you the places that we're going. We're gonna go to Pete's, Phil's, Starbucks, McDonald's, and Dunkin' Donuts. I've never had the coffee from Dunkin'. I've never had the coffee from McDonald's. Pete's is good. I go there when I'm like at the airport and they don't have a Starbucks. <laughs> Starbucks is good. Phil's is kind of the odd one out because if you've ever been to Phil's, you can't get regular coffee at Phil's. They have their like pre-made drinks you just get it it's pretty gloomy out today and I was like oh such a nice day to like lay in bed get all cozy and have like a warm hot chocolate and I'm like no I'm gonna go out and drink like five iced coffees and see how I feel after that I figured I'd show you guys some songs I've been listening to lately I take any opportunity I can to show you my playlist let and still come out with this song how am I gonna compromise you know that it hurts when you laugh when I cry it takes a bitch to know a bitch bitch Obviously everyone has heard Billie Eilish's new album. I'm just gonna show you my favorite song from the album. like iced coffee review because I already know which ones I kind of like. I'm going into Phil's. I shall be back. So I'm back from Phil's. I have my drink here. If you've never been to Phil's, like, I don't even know how to describe it. They just like, whenever they give you their drink, they're like, try it out and let me know if it's perfect. Otherwise, like, they'll make changes for it. And so she's like, you know, like, try it out. Let me know what you think. And I was like, I, like, I knew that right when I sipped it, I was gonna wanna drink the entire freaking thing and I sipped it, and it was the most beautiful iced ecstatic I've ever gotten in my life. They ask you if you want um, cream or sugar in it, and so I get mine sweet and creamy. I couldn't tell you exactly what that means, but I just know that's how I like it, because one time someone made it for me and told me that's what she did. And I wanna drink it all so badly right now. They were playing a song in there, it was Selena Gomez. I died, Phil's usually has the best music. But not that Selena Gomez is bad, and now I'm actually gonna listen to her. There's a coffee shop right there. You think I should go to a random coffee shop and like compare theirs? No, it's not gonna be anywhere comparable. Especially not to my man, Phil. I'm gonna tell you guys something really embarrassing. <laughs> As you might know, I was a One Direction stan when I was in middle school. And as all the One Direction stands do, you like to read fan fiction of the band that you're in love with at the age of 12. When I was in middle school, I'd read One Direction fan fiction on Wattpad. There's a story on Wattpad called After, and it's a Harry Styles fan fiction. It's being turned into a movie, so me and my roommate were talking about it. We decided that we're gonna reread re After, but I never read this one, and she did, so she's rereading it, and I'm reading it for the first time. You just get like so like in it, like I feel like like I am Tess and I'm like living through this like heartbreak that she's going through so if you're in the mood to read fan fiction I'd really recommend the One Direction fan fiction clearly I'm way too invested in this and here we are at Dunkin Donuts and I'm gonna go get the coffee <laughs> I'm back. Dunkin Donuts was an experience. It was like cute in there. Here is my iced coffee. I got an iced latte with French vanilla because they didn't have regular vanilla, they just had French vanilla. The girl in there was so nice. She told me that she liked my outfit and I was like, ha. We have some interesting news. I looked it up and I'm like, hmm, I wonder where the nearest McDonald's is. And there's not any around here. So now we're gonna need to think of another place to get coffee. We're just getting Starbucks. I'm not even bringing my wallet. I have my Starbucks. I got a tall vanilla iced latte. Yeah, thank God. And then I got this drink carrier because I'm out of cup holders. 
so I'm gonna keep all my drinks in here. While I was waiting for my coffee, I decided to do some research, and apparently Burger King sells coffee, and I was like, oh, weird flex, but okay. So we're gonna go to Pete's and Burger King. Okay, let's go to Pete's, and then we're gonna try all the coffees. I'm so excited to try all these coffees. Mm, you don't even know, I just love coffee so much, and I'm literally already so energetic. I do not need one coffee, let alone five. I have to drink them, it's the right thing to do. Mm -mm -mm. You know what that reminded me of? Now that's funny. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was absolutely terrifying. I'm off to Pete's. I had to walk up three flights of stairs and I'm so out of breath. I got my Pete's. Here it is. But because I was walking back from Pete's and I see this guy walking by himself and he's like staring at me So I'm like great. He's about to say something to me. And he's all I like your pants I'm like, okay, great. Thanks. Bye. And then I like ran up the stairs because I was nervous Womp womp womp. We're on the way. We're on the move. We're on the pounce. We're on the prowl. I need to shut up <laughs> Hi, can I please just have a small iced vanilla coffee? She's like, okay yeah, I just want iced coffee from Burger King. What's it to ya, sister? I'm so excited to try all these coffees. First things first, we need to take a thumbnail before I forget. Let's go through the prices of the coffees. A small iced coffee at Dunkin' Donuts is $2.50. A small iced coffee at Burger King was $2. A small iced latte from Pete's was $4.30. A small iced and a latte at Starbucks is $4.25. And a small iced coffee at Phil's is $3.50. I look insane with all these coffees just here for me. I'm gonna start with Phil's because we got it first and we already know. <gasps> I just almost knocked all the coffees off the thing. Phil's too has like foam on top. You can't see that at all. Mm. But that's just another reason I love it. Like who puts foam on the top of their iced coffee? I don't know, but it's so good. So beautiful and good. I think I just nutted in my pants. Let's move on to Starbucks. Now this coffee was $4.25, I think, for a tall. Kind of outrageous if you ask me. She's good. I would normally get almond milk in all my drinks, but I knew that some of the places like weren't gonna have almond milk, so I just decided to skip it. I am allergic to milk, so everything's going well. Not as good as Phil's, but I feel like it's also kind of hard to compare Phil's with anywhere else because their drinks are like one of a kind. This person's getting in their car right there. I'm not gonna look at them. Anyway, <laughs> and then let's try Pete's. And Pete's was $4.30, so pretty much the same price. This one is darker though, the Pete's one. It's way darker, you see that? Okay. It's good. Honestly, I've never gotten their drinks without almond milk and I'm kinda not feeling it. It's not as sweet as Starbucks and I like my coffees really sweet. I just don't know how I'm feeling about it. It's okay, it's okay. Just okay though. Let's move on to Dunkin' Donuts. This coffee was, I don't remember what I said, $2.50? And it comes with already, I can tell you, more than Starbucks. This is like a grande at Starbucks. Oh, whoa, what? I did not expect it to taste like that at all. Holy heck. This is so good. Oh my gosh. It's just like, I think it's the French vanilla. Oh my God, it's so good. It's like so sweet. I think the Burger King one is just gonna be so disappointing. I'm a little bit nervous to try it. God, drinking all this coffee is giving me heartburn. Okay. It doesn't even taste like coffee. That is so bad. Oh my God, ew. <gasps> I think I'm emotionally traumatized from that. Oh my god, it's so bad. Give me a minute. Never get that. First of all, I guess you could kind of maybe say it tasted like really coffee with like creamer and like milk, but like milk and creamer. I literally don't even know what to say. It was not good at all. That was the worst one. It wasn't sweet. It didn't taste like coffee. I'm just confused, disgusted. Okay, I'm gonna rank these coffees now. So I'm gonna go worst to best. 
five the worst burger king it was the cheapest dunkin donuts was 50 cents more and was a million times better i feel like dunkin donuts was not 250 i think i have my price wrong on that i definitely remember handing her like three something four pete's i'm sorry i do love the pete's coffee i think they have great coffee i think what it is for me is that it tastes more like coffee and less like sweet and sugary and milky which if you like coffee then you'll like that more so Pete's is my fourth. My third is Starbucks. I love my place, Starbucks, <laughs> but it's not that good. You know what I mean? Like it's good, but it's not like amazing and wonderful. The price is not it. The price might even switch it with Pete's, honestly. But if we're talking just the flavor, it's third. But if we're talking flavor, price, amount you get, it's fourth and pizza's third. Take what you want with that information. Second is Dunkin' Donuts. Now this coffee is so good. Like everyone always talks about how good Dunkin' Donuts coffee is. And I'm always like, okay, yeah, sure. Like I'm sure it just tastes like sugar. <laughs> it kind of does, don't get me wrong. But it's so good. It kind of tastes like, you know, that like French vanilla creamer that everybody puts in their coffee. That's that one brand. I'll like put it up here somewhere. It kind of tastes like that, but like better. And then our number one contender is Phil's. Phil's is just so good. And like I said, like you can't get coffee like you can at Phil's anywhere else because their coffee is one of a kind. But it's just so different from all the other coffees. So I feel like it's not even really fair of me to compare it, but it's still an iced coffee, so I'm going to compare it. Phil's is still my number one main man. Never get Burger King coffee. Dunkin' Donuts, amazing. I'm astonished. I'm probably gonna poop my pants after drinking all this coffee or to have like a burst of energy and then crash and like ball my eyes out probably you never know but it was so much fun i really like doing it that's pretty much it for this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up if you hated this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on that little bell for post notifications because i post very sporadically you can follow all my social medias they'll be linked in the description bar below thanks so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time